about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know Hey what's up, I'm Diamond, welcome back to my channel Diamond Star If anyone who's new, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell So you upload when I make new videos Today is my third day in China and it has been amazing so far yesterday we went to an american nice barbecue restaurant the food wasn't quite what north carolina is because you know nobody can touch north carolina barbecue but they did their thing after that i was so tired yesterday i was so jet lagged i woke up like at two o'clock in the morning so by the time we got around 11 o'clock at night i was done i was like sleeping half the day every time that i would go get um on the van on the car i fell asleep in the hotel lobby I was just falling asleep everywhere so i really didn't get as much footage as i wanted to but the footage i did get was really really good so if you haven't checked that vlog out be sure to check it out after you watch this video or you go watch it now and then come back to this video either one is okay so today we are going to a online mall so they have a thing where you can get one day shipping or the same day shipping so we want to learn how do the delivery system work in china and how do people get their stuff so fast literally everywhere you go you'll see people on scooters vans and trucks and stuff that has mail that people have you can literally order anything and it can be in your house within an hour and we have a free day today because we had a food tour set up but it didn't work out that way so we're doing dinner on our own so i'm excited to see where you know the day is going to take us <laughs> very important person we're gonna be here a long time today it's all right though i am prepared currently we are about to take a tour of jd.com which is china's biggest um, e-commerce organization I don't know what this sprinkle stuff is. I just couldn't leave and not try it. I saw it on the menu and I was just like, I gotta get that. <laughs> I gotta get that. To get oh, that chocolate gold. in there. That's not cinnamon. That's like gold, gold. Gold, gold. Yeah, it's good. What does this taste like? What does this sound like? Like almond and like vanilla. We're taking the subway to New York. I'm gonna be in the vlog. We're on the subway. I love the subway. Me too. <laughs> Actually, you know, I've never ridden a subway before. Wait, really? I've been in a metro once, but no, I like a subway. Nah, subways are it. We are going to the lake to go find some nice restaurants. They said they got a little bit of a um, nice place to sit down. I got durian cheesecake. Yeah, it's kind of dark out here, so you can't really see it. But it's like a fruit that it has like a really bad smell. It's supposed to have a bad taste, but I guess like mixed with the cheese and the, and the bread, it don't taste that bad. <laughs> Third day. 
We went to a lot of different companies today. A lot of different companies. You know, we met little different professionals and stuff. I feel sorry for the k one. That one was rough. I couldn't get them with my full energy because I was tired. I was so shocked by like how advanced they were. Like literally, you can walk in a store, pick up what you want, leave, not even having to pay for it, and it'll automatically car charge your car. It's crazy. I didn't record much today because I still am suffering from jet lag. It's about 11 o'clock at night right now, maybe 10 o'clock. And I'm just not tired. Now, this is 12 hours behind, you know, Eastern Standard Time. A lot of people from my group is in the room partying, drinking stuff. I'm not. This is me. <laughs> I'm a little upset today because I think I didn't go my way today. I ate breakfast this morning. Wonderful. I just had noodles and watermelon and Coca Cola. I know it's a combination. Lunch, I got like this broth stuff. You know, it just didn't taste all that right to me. I'm not an egg person. And it had like a lot of egg, like a, a big fluffy piece of egg. And then it had like another piece of egg in it. And it had like a shrimp ball and some rice stuff in there and tofu. The man touched all over it though. I don't like people touching my food. That's unsanitary. Um, I got back here. We went to like street food and they was getting lamb. I personally don't like lamb. I tried it in London, didn't like it. So I was like, I'm gonna just wait till we go to the next vendor. We never went to the next vendor. So I was like, I'm gonna go to a vendor by myself. So the lady who was helping us order because like most of the vendors speak Mandarin, she was like, oh no, y'all can go order y'all your own food. Okay. I had to go, you take my phone, you go translate and I ordered uh, it was like some cheese bread or so I thought but it was dairy and cheese bread It's like a fruit. It really stinks really really bad You know at first when I taste it, I was like this is not bad. The more I ate it and the more it like cooled off Like the worst taste. and I kind of felt bad and I didn't like the meal from earlier But it just wasn't good. That wasn't good either And I was like maybe I can get something at, uh, at the bar because a lot of the people I went wanted to go get something at the bar They had a food menu and when I went to order food, they said they wasn't serving food. They were only serving drinks. Okay, cool So we got drinks well, I didn't get drink, but they got drink. We stayed there for about an hour. We left, went to a 7-Eleven store. That's a whole nother story time in itself. Try to all find taxis, get back. Long story short, we found a taxi. Even though that's another story time in itself. Now, I'm eating a lot of lunch. This is long. Hmm. Yesterday, we went to like this really nice shopping district. There was a homeless man on the ground. And I was walking with this one guy that's with me on the trip. And I was like, oh, I made it a home meal. And I said, can you go give him this money? I would go do it, but I like, I'm a girl and that's unsafe. So I want to give him the money, but I'm, I can't go do it for me. Today, we get back to the shopping district. The same man is there. He has his cup out. He's asking everybody for money. Like, he doesn't speak English. He speaks Mandarin. He's even asking, like, everybody in my group for money. He gets to me. He snatches his cup back. Like, he don't want none of my money. For some reason, even though he was homeless, he looked at me as if I was less than him. But I just gave you money yesterday. I'm the reason why you still there today, probably. In the same spot, looking for more money. And that's so sad that people just look at you and judge you for no reason. Like, that hurts my feelings. That hurts my feelings so bad because, like, I do stuff out of kindness to my heart. And I was, I always expect the best out of people. But the the sad matter is there's people that's truly racist and they don't even know they're racist. <laughs> Cause they've been taught that way for generations and generations. They don't. They, it's just. It's just normal to them. I'm sorry. Whatever. I don't even know if I'll post this or not. This hurt my feelings. How a homeless person gonna look at me like? Not saying I'm better than anybody. Not saying I'm better than anybody. But he even want my money. He want my money. Money spent the same way, no matter what color it come from. Anyway, hope y'all have a great day, evening, morning, night, whatever y'all watching this. Comment down below if you ever had this experience of being a person of color in a different country. It's not the only thing that happened, but like I said, I'm gonna make another video for that. Just let me know, cause I'm curious. All right, catch you in the next one. Peace. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Chilong
给小兔子拐走。为什么他不教我呀？他就憋着教我兄弟呢。四婶安的就这心，感情豪杰在马家呀，认识没